If the Making More From Sheep program is about making change for the better, this group of producers has come to the right place. Today they're having a look at Eric Harvey's pastures. Eric's gone native. In fact, at last count he had over 135 native varieties underfoot. On this place they run all their sheep and cattle together, moving paddocks every day or two on a 180 day rotation. It maintains ground cover, builds resilience in the system, and their stock have continued to thrive. While they were highly productive before using exotic pastures, which grossed $1,000 an acre, their costs were running at $1,087 an acre. We did everything right, but we didn't make a profit. And you can't hang around too long if you don't make a profit. The lack of financial return, followed by a drought and Eric's broken back and a heart attack, prompted the Harveys to go native and reduce their costs. They saved $100,000 in the first year and are now turning a profit. It was part of a whole new approach to the business. Since we've changed, the results when we've got it right have been absolutely amazing. It's real life experience and hands-on expertise like this that will be a feature of phase two of Making More From Sheep. The program has ambitious targets, hoping to reach 70% of producers. Well, the ultimate aim is to get producers making practice change, which improves the productivity, the profitability and the sustainability of their, their sheep businesses. The manual has 11 modules, each targeting a handful of measures likely to make the biggest difference. For each of the modules in making more from sheep, each one has three to five key procedures identified. And it's really about if we can get those being done really well, sort of for a, they're the 20% of the things that kick 80% of the goals. Four key modules are being given priority. Reproductive efficiency, genetics, pasture utilisation and business planning. Again, they're the ones that'll make the most difference to producers, but they'll also help address an Australia-wide problem. The national flock is at historic lows at the moment and uh, that's part of the reason for the focus on reproduction. Similarly, the marketplace, because of that supply and demand, means at the moment that uh, the prime lambs are, are bringing very good money, so more lambs is more potential income for the producers. Similarly, the cost of uh, replacement ewes is, is very high at the moment, so we really want to try and get producers focusing on that ewe management and getting the most out of the ewes they've got. That focus on ewe productivity is top of the local agenda here in New South Wales. That's the cheapest way for people to build up their stock numbers again, is to just increase their reproductive efficiency. The second main goal, I guess, is to reduce the impact of any animal health diseases. So any advice we can give producers about how to reduce the, uh, the, the number of mortalities within their flock is also a cheap way for getting them to uh, uh, increase their, their flock numbers. A feature of this new phase of making more from sheep is that it aims to help producers take advantage of the end of the drought. Probably the biggest difference that people will notice in New South Wales is now that we've actually got something to work with, uh, we'll be running much more a production emphasis on our workshops. And there'll be opportunities to run producer demonstration sites, which Eric Harvey also happens to have on his place. This fancy looking bit of gear is a hands-free remote telemetry watering system. There are sensors on the tanks and dams, as well as on the pumps, and cameras keeping an eye on watering points. Everything can be monitored via computer or iPhone. It even alerts you if there's a problem. Or well, my son actually phoned me from when he was down the coast and asked what had happened to a certain set of water storage tanks where we'd, we'd had a, a leak and, and lost all of them. So he's quite aware of, of what happens and he, it's quite simple, he can check at any point in time during the day, he just flick, flicks his phone on and, and he's got all the data there. It saves valuable time that used to be spent checking everything in person and time is money. On our two hour run six months of the year on a daily basis, um, this system um, is gonna pay for itself in about four months. Um, so it's enormous cost benefit for us. For consultant Mark Gardner, who works with the Harvey family, this technology offers a chance to relieve a problem many producers face. It's very difficult to get labour. And this has been a great investment that we've been looking at to save in labour, but also to hopefully de-stress a bit of the farm. Um, because labour costs are a very big and large percentage of uh, overall running costs of properties. So anything we can do to make labour um, more efficient and effective is a good thing. Today, these producers have covered a lot of ground. 
seen how technology can be adopted and heard how one sheep producer has, as Richard Apps put it, improved the productivity, profitability and sustainability of his sheep business. If today's attendance and information is anything to go by, it would seem phase two of making more from sheep is off to a great start. Thank you.